Hey guys, what's going on? Pig Venice here. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing great. We're playing Sid Meier's Pirates. Take a look at it. Uh, we're going to skip the cutscenes because they're they're kind of screwed up right now on this computer for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of the monitor or it's an older game. Um, crew signups name. We're just going to go with Pig. Uh, skill at fencing, which we want. We're going to start as an apprentice and work our way up. And... Uh, 1660s is a good place to start. Hopefully it'll be pretty busy. Captain's table at yonder tables. The captain's table at yonder tables. Alright, so we could join the French, we could join the Spanish, the Dutch, or the English. Now, uh, during this period, time period, I believe the Spanish is pretty, pretty strong. We're going to sign with the Dutch. Because uh, I like his evil snarl and his tiny little hands. Um... <laughs> Welcome aboard, Mr. Pig. We sail with the tide. The crossroad was drought with terror and, terror and cruelty. Alright, so we're going to stop here. The Dutch Harbor. Uh, trading post of St. Eustadius. It's clean and prosperous. Okay, so let's check out the tavern. Actually, yeah, let's... No, let's consult with the, the shipwright. Check out our ship. So we have a sloop. Which is uh, pretty maneuverable. Ooh, and we could get the upgrade right now, which I'm going to do, because we have enough gold for the bronze cannon. Fire more, a little bit more accurately. Uh, let's go into the tavern and hire some of these goons. We have a crew of 40. We're going to add 16. Sweet! Talk to this sexy barmaid. Oh my goodness, good lord. Let's get Tulsa hint here. Oh, the Ville de Tresor, near the city of Trinidad. He's the only character. Wow. 3,200 gold. That's what I want. City near Trinidad is... Oh, that's quite a quite a way away to the south. But, uh... Alright. Alright, and this guy's telling me that the governor's daughter is pretty hot. And then, let's just check with this dude. Trader uh, offers to share with you information. Sure, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Alright, so... Port de Pois, which we probably won't even go to. Um, not right now, anyway. It's way, it's across the Gulf of Mexico. So, uh, let's talk to the governor. Yeah, dear pig, come on in. You may have be interested to know that we are at war with the evil Spanish. I am pleased to offer a letter of marquee, which authorizes you to plunder and sink the ships of our enemies. Okay, so he wants us to go to San Juan, no problem. Ooh, a juicy Spanish bark. After eats that tasty looking grape, so let's let's uh, let's sail away. Oh, there it is. Ooh, sloop's got some maneuverability, huh? So let's attack the this ship. It's the one that the governor wants us to. You now it's one of those games. This game was um, originally released in 1987. Uh, this version is not the 1987 version, obviously. Uh, the graphics are far superior <laughs> than what we had at that time. But uh, this is the 2005 version. I believe this is um, this version was exported to, I want to say the Xbox. I don't really know though. But this game has seen so many ports. Uh, right now we're taking out their their sails, uh, and we we looted the ship. So, um, should we take her? Should we take that? Why not? Let's just take everything. Let's just do this. And we'll have another ship join our, our fleet. St. Martin Prosperous Trading Post. What I want to do now, I just want to go back here to this port. Because the the innkeeper said the, the governor's daughter was pretty cute. So we're going to talk to the governor and see if we can get access to his daughter. Ah, uh, yes. So he did notice that we sunk that. But he's not so, not so quick yet to... Uh, to uh, let us uh, talk to his daughter. Which she, like, you do a couple actions for her. You could go dancing with her. You give her a ruby ring and she becomes a romance. So we can repair that sloop. Let's just, should we sell it now? Because then we'll have to dispose of some stuff. Ah, uh, man, I hate to repair it and lose that. Whatever. Let's just sail away. We don't have to repair it. Well, look at this one. Indianman. Let's attack that. Oh, it's Dutch. I mean, we can attack it, but... It's, it's certainly not going to be a good thing if we do. So, yeah, 1987 this came out. It's been ported, it's been upgraded. Um, ported to different various consoles and computers. 
and uh, it's one of my just one of my childhood favorites. I remember one of my very first computers. Um, we had this game, and I just spent hours and hours with my brothers playing on it and everything else. It's one of those nostalgic things from my childhood uh, that I remember playing well into the '90s and. I had forgotten about it for a little while. What's this? This is Trade Galleon. Let's see if we can take that one. Spanish Trade Galleon, Santa Maria, six guns, 44 men. We should be able to outmaneuver this fairly well, as long as we don't get caught in any cannon fire like, like it's about to fire off here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yikes. Oh, all right. So we got to take down the sails fairly quick to be able to maneuver try to get behind it there we go so we kind of have kind of have keep position here we'll just keep on knocking out those sails the uh, the round shot takes care of the the cannons and it destroys the structural integrity of the ship uh, the chain shot destroy oh big strong wind there and we're smoking Literally, we're, we're on fire. We're, we're smoking. We don't want to get caught again, although I don't think the wind blows from the east to the west, so it's it's not necessarily good that we turn into it. Oh, and we completely missed our... There, we all want to destroy the sails completely. Come on. There we go. So we're going to approach the crew. We still might get into a fight, so let's just fire off some round shot real quick. Get rid of those guns. He might still fire at me. He's pretty much destroyed, though. So... There we go. Nice. So we have 16 sailors that want to join the crew of our 56. We're going to allow them. And we're also going to take this. We're going to take this ship. Alright. Sweet. So the Dutch governor of St. Martin wants to give us a promotion. Let's just head back there. Whoa, without hitting the island. And uh, let's see what he does for us, if anything. There's a couple things. There's real no story other than you're just this pirate that goes around and destroys other ships. Um, there's a couple of side quests you could do. One is uh, search for your family. Uh, actually, let's just take a look at our fleet status here for a sec. Personal status. That's what we want to do. So lost relative quest. There's 16 lost relatives that we could find, and you get you know achievement points and stuff that builds up your reputation. Uh, there's cities quests, which you could find ancient civilizations and build romances with the governor's daughters. You know, and at, to to get to that, you have to destroy ships and stuff. And of course, villains avenged, um, which are the other pirates. So if we look at the top 10 pirates, these are the the villains that we could go for uh, Henry Morgan, you know, popular names Blackbeard, Captain Kidd uh, Bart Roberts, you know uh, Pig Bennis Haterade so uh, we can look at the log on the screen there's treasure maps, uh, you can find treasure which is very beneficial for yourself and your crew, and then we could take a look at our status, our crew of 72 is very happy for now, they get very honorary too, after a couple months at sea so, and we, we just served, so we're only five months out sea. Our crew's pretty happy, as you can see down here on our compass. So, we're going to try and make our way back to St. Martin. We're going to repair our ships, sell some goods, and uh, all's going to be well in the Caribbean for uh, for today. So, yeah, this is uh, Sid Meier's Pirates. This is such an awesome game. And certainly, you know, graphically, it's not up to par. It's 2015. It's been 10 years since this version has been released. But man it's just it's if you just want a simple quick little game to, to hop in get out some frustrations this is a fantastic game to do it in guys um and yes that is a lot of nostalgia talking but at the same time 
the 2005 version is very very playable the version that we're playing now is very very playable so let's uh let's repair man we took some hits 525 gold so do we want to keep the sloop or do we want to keep the trade galleon probably not the trade galleon because it's not going to be very uh maneuverable so let's first off let's go to the trade with the merchant um we're gonna sell all which is gonna sell everything but our guns and our food so i think we got it right we got it yeah okay um let's go back to shipwright let's sell you know we're only gonna get 10 gold for that that's fine and we're going to keep that other one. So before we do anything more, which I should have done first, was talk to the governor. Because he's going to give us uh, a promotion, hopefully. My dear Mr. Pig, please come in. As you know, we're at war with the Spanish. I understand that you recently captured a Spanish trade galleon, and you captured a Spanish Baroque. Excellent. The king will be pleased. In recognition of your service to the Dutch crown, I am pleased to promote you to the rank of captain. Congratulations. As a result, crew recruiting will be easier in Dutch ports. Oh, and here we go. Oh, the governor's daughter is rather plain. So, um, sorry, honey. <laughs> We're out of here. Sorry. <laughs> so, I thought the tavern keeper said that maybe it was a different. Oh, it's Saint S2. Uh, that's right. Okay. So, we got to go to a different port. That's what we got to do. Let's, um, consult with the shipwright and let's repair our, our sloop real quick and then we'll, we'll sail away. Um, let's go. Oh. Congratulations, you have earned your first fame point. You collect fame points for plundering gold and doing promotions and everything else, so. Eustatus, right? Eustatus. I don't know. Um, but let's check it out. Let's see if we can get access to his daughter, who apparently is a beauty. Come in. We're with evil Spanish. Okay, so it probably his daughter. We could probably confirm that with the tavern keeper. Oh, but he tells us something else. The shipwright in St. Kitts can upgrade your ship with fine grain powder. Really? That is awesome because I haven't even seen that in my other games. So we're going to sail away. And that's right there. That's right below us. We probably don't have enough gold though. Let's check our treasure. Personal status. Uh, or fleet status? No, status. Alright, 12. We might have enough gold to upgrade. Although, I probably should be upgrading a different ship because this one's not going to last long. Uh, let's, let's not trade with the merchant. Let's consult with the ship, right? Fine green powder. Yeah. Okay. Sail away. Let's see if we can. Get ourselves into some more trouble here. A Spanish raider. Oops. Yeah, I'm using keyboard mouse, so. Is that a war galleon, or is it. It is a war galleon. Yeah, we're not gonna mess around with that one. There's no way. No way. He would hit me once and I'd be done for. Pretty much. Oh, he is attacking, though. He's attacking that port, St. Martin. So, yeah, I mean, every single time I play this, it, it reminds me of, like, the late 80s and the early 90s, um, you know, Saturday morning cartoons, Lucky Charms, even though I still eat them today. <laughs> Spanish trade. Now for St. Kitts, you're done for. You are so done for. We got some round shot. We're going to fire off some round shot first. And we're going to speed up. Oh, and it's a decent hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Oh, crap on the wrong side of it twist 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 go 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 this is bad this is bad this is so bad definitely do not want to be on the broad side of this ship try to take out the uh, try to take out the sails Oh my god, could you guys imagine being during this period? Being alive during this period? And having to go with these people 
these people went through. We only have 15 crew on this ship. This is, this may not be good. Oh no, I'm sorry, we have 52, they have 12. Alright, let's board it. And just like, terrible dentistry and famine. Losing your arms and stuff. Take all! So we got ourselves a trade galleon. And we're going to take on this other trade galleon. What is this? Oh, it's a war galleon. Oh, crap. I wonder if, are they after us? <gasps> no, don't attack. Don't attack just yet. They might have been. He might have been. I don't know. I think it's too early for the war galleons to start attacking, but either way. Ooh, maneuver, maneuver, maneuver. There was an MMO uh, that was very similar to this that I was playing in beta. Right now I cannot remember the name of it. Ooh, yeah, I think we got hit with one of them. Here we go. You could actually use the wind to your advantage, too. If you turn into it just to hold your ship in position until the next attack, he's starting to turn, so... I want to move, 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 move. Hit it with a final blast of cannonballs. Let's just, let's just get on this. Oh, we sunk him. Oh no, that sucks. <laughs> oh crap. Oh, look at all those dead dudes in the water. Oh, uh, that was probably a poor choice. That was a poor choice. What am I saying? Probably. That was definitely a poor choice. Damn, damn, damn. And we, you sink him, you can't. You can't get the ship, nor do you get, um, here's another trade galley. Let's go for this guy. You don't get anything on board either. So, definitely not ideal to, to sink the ships. Oh, man. Turn. Ooh, took some hits there. Definitely have to get on the other side here. We're ahead of them a little bit. Problem is the island is right there to the north of us. So. Oh, oh, oh. There is another part to this, um, which we haven't seen yet, and it is the fencing part where you do board the ship, and I believe it has something to do with the ship's structural integrity, and yeah, we're boarding right now, so. And it's kind of like a, a quick action type of event. It'll give you, when the captain of that ship attacks in the bottom right, it'll tell you when he's attacking and, and what what parry or, or flurry or duck to to do, but I just like to be super offensive. And especially since you take that defensive perk, you can uh, be offensive. And kind of ignore his attacks for the time being anyway, until until you hit like probably advanced or even better half journeyman. But so we're gonna take all, we're gonna take his ship. Uh, let's go back and see. the governor's daughter if he if she if he lets us but we did sink a couple ships so i'm hoping that he'll let us so um guys what are your favorite what are your favorite older games i i'm dying to know because i mean obviously this is one of mine um i loved system shock 2 i played the heck out of that I was going to do a playthrough of it. In fact, I think I released a, a video of it a while ago, but, um, 
We're far out to sea. We're not very far out to sea, but we're going to go to St. Kitts anyway, so. It just might take a little while since the wind is blowing right at us. So look at our, our fleet there. It's all torn to pieces. So, yeah, um, man, there, there's so many older games that I still love and play. Let me know. Let me know which games you're playing now. Let me know which games remind you of your childhood. Um, I'm sure for some of you, there might be even uh, earlier games, you know, or uh, I'm sorry, like later games like Nintendo uh, 64 or Super Nintendo or I mean, I saw my first console was um, actually I did have a Nintendo. That was that was my first console. I think it was a lot of people's uh, first comp console, first console from uh, from my era, anyway. All right, here we go. Come on, chug along. It makes you wonder how they actually got anywhere back then, like against the wind. Did they just wait? It's kind of actually. Uh, I should wiki that. All right, so let's talk to the governor. Got promotion for me? Oh, he does. Nice. The rank of major. Sweet. So he gives me 50 acres. Oh, no, no access to the, the governor's daughter. So. Anyway, guys. We're going to sign up these guys. Let's do that. We're going to sail away. Cast off. See ya, suckers. We're going to sail away, and uh, until next time, if you guys like this, please rate a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below of what your old, your your like your favorite older game is, or your your first gaming love, I should say. You know, what were you really into when you first started playing video? And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.